Hey guys, Panada here today. Today I have the Voidborn deck for the Faction Only series. Um, it won by a measly one little vote here over Slither. Um, so there's actually not a lot of factions left. I think there's only going to be three after this to vote for. Um, I'll put in another poll in a couple days. But yeah, um, the deck is this. Got Volko as the master for Rage. Um, really helps out the bigger, tougher, hard-hitting Voidborn units. It's a pretty standard Voidborn deck. I got Cleaver, Succubus, Morgul, the Swarmer King, uh, Incubus, Fireball, Decent Spell. I was tempted to use Dragon Ball, but I went with Fireball. I went with this for a little versatility, either big burst damage or lots of um, AoE overtime damage. Reboomer, good card. Morgul, or Morgul's Mark gives the enemy taunt and spawns five Swarmers. Very strong. Cheap bridge grab little bit of defense and nether bats for some annoying air um that's the deck worked out pretty good i played in 2v2s not 1v1s because 1v1s was not working for me <laughs> i'm not a void born player but we'll get right into it okay game one here i have a ravager as a teammate we're against a morelia and mordar he is running a very heavy stout heart deck he even has Rimmergall in it. So, already together we are running two very heavy push decks that want to end the game before Mana Frenzy. He starts off with Urclaw here. They have pretty good counters to that though, with the Curse Bearer and the Blue Golem. Chain Lightning does some good work there too for them. Curse was still there, so the Assassin didn't get the big hit off, but it wasn't a big deal. He also played that Priestess pretty far behind. Assassin does get the big hit off on their face, though. But yeah, Priestess has just kind of lost her point in life. Just wandering aimlessly to her death. She almost did 100 damage to that Skeleton, though, so like, good for her. This Reboomer is the longest lasting Reboomer you will ever see. And it's spawned around a minute, five seconds, and <laughs> thanks to Stixie, amongst other things, it takes a while to die. He put his Fergus right on the Caleb, which is weird considering he gets a shield. But, whatever. Stixie's still going. Not Stixie, ah. Uh, Reboomer's still alive up top. Making his way, making it very awkward for them to take that bridge. <laughs> Manages to kill the Spirit Mancer. Finally, it does die after one more explosion. It almost survived a full minute, which is a long time in this game for a minion to survive. They do healing fireball the Bara here. Kinda glad they didn't get the Stixie as well. Unfortunately, Scott did go after the Reboomer there, so that didn't work out too well for him. Taking out the Stixie. Reckonator on face. Not too worried about it. Fire Imp holds the bridge down below, which is nice. Rimmergall out on the arena. With a priestess behind it, so he's getting a lot of damage off here. Got a raged incubus on their face. Does a decent amount of damage before he dies. Cleaver gonna come and one shot the Kalith. He was half health to be fair, but it was a raged cleaver. We're on their face. Rage Cleaver. We got a Rimagall. We got a Bear. We got a Terror Brutus on the way. 
big pushes prevail. I'm not one to big play big push decks, but some of these games went all right, you know? We were also head on XP, so, you know. Okay. This time, I my teammate from last game is actually on the enemy team. And I have Spork X Noodles, who's a fairly well-known player in the community. Very good guy. He's on the Rapbo, and they're on the Ravager and the Stormbringer. Scrat Tunnels is very annoying to deal with right off the bat. Applies quite a bit of pressure, annoyingly. We had a very awkward start to this game. Like, I mean, they hit first perk and we're not even half. We're just about halfway there, so like... Got the Rage Assassin though, we're gonna kill the first Brutus. The damage he does is quite insane. Succubus and Defensive Chopper takes care of the rest of their push. They do have a Bounty Sniper, which is going to help them maintain their XP lead. If he actually gets a kill. I'm burning mana because I don't really know what to play and where. <laughs> Got my Reboomer out on the field. Doing good damage to Urclaw. It does die to his ability, which is unfortunate. Down about 40-ish XP. Cleaver gets good value, just takes out Fang in one hit, and there's their Rimigal out onto the arena. Cleaver did not kill the Wogasar Pup. I forgot that that thing had like 350 HP. Chisma getting some good damage off there. We do have a Rappo, so that's kind of nice for their big pushes when we get the chance for the Daka. <laughs> Not the best Gratillery, but it still works out in the end. <laughs> I thought I'd catch him off guard with the cheeky fireball, but <laughs> it was not meant to be. I signal for him to fireball the priestess because that could be a big problem. Pretty good push up top with Urclaw and the Huntress and a bounty sniper. But, Zip does its job. We're down about 15 XP, their Terror Brutus is out on the field. Wogasaur takes out my Chisma, or not my Chisma, Spork's Chisma. <laughs> That's not my Chisma. Reboomer gets good value there, and he's about to get more on this Terror Brutus. He was frozen though, so he took half damage. Fergus goes down to a cleaver hit and the reboomer. Daka just annihilates that huntress. Morgro's Mark taking out Bounty Sniper. Great spell for taking things out in the pocket, like snipers. 
Sometimes it'll even attract your melee units to go attack if they're within range of the taunt. That bear did not have a good time there. He was surrounded. Raged fire imp just melting that woodsman. Literally melting, because fire, <laughs> get it? And stout heart is kind of like ice. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. It's a big battle up top between the Scrats and the bear. Incubus doing some good damage on face. They do put a Fergus out into a defensive chopper, which isn't ideal. And that's the game. We hit Mana Frenzy. Succubus ends it. Pretty good game. Had to beat my former teammate. Can never lose to former teammates, regardless if you win or lose together. Okay, last game. I have a Mordar teammate. Who's running a lot of Voidborn as well. So we're both heavy decks. He's got a Wheel of Doom, he's got Crackle, he's got Colossus. We're against a Milloween and another Volko. I wanted to use the Morgirl's Mark to tank that cleaver, that's why I kind of pinged him there. I had the thing hovered. Um, you can't see that on replays, obviously. I had the my spell hovered, but he decided to play his Colossus anyway, but not the end of the world. Because he is going to get a revive on. Not a very good one, because the Tombstone's not the healthiest, but... He does have clear skies to fix that problem, and a healing shrine. Healing shrine goes down, but you know, it's a thought that counts. Got his crackle out on the field. Already just getting good value. He's got another. He's got a five mana crackle and a three mana wheel of doom now. got the clear skies he's just getting more and more value they just keep sending out one things for it to one shot and it gets revived look at all the reductions he has Gets on the face with rage. Weird healing shrine there. It's not going to really help versus the March Red, but... They do beam that one. But... He was quick with the Glen's Brew, didn't let it fully die. And Tombstone gets lightning bolted. <laughs> right at the right time, too. They do have a Commander Azali. All 
all these rage units melting away at their... They got another beam. It's got clear skies going. XP is very even. I think he wheels the Bara here. I give him the thumbs up to go ahead and do it. <laughs> Reboomer just kills that Tranquil immediately. I don't think I've seen someone get so many good Doom Cleavers off. Like the fact that they stay alive for so long. And it's just kind of crazy. They're at 6 HP. And that's the game. That's my Voidborn deck. I didn't really want to show the losses because they were kind of ugly losses. Um. I'm not good with Voidborn. Those games went okay. Got some good pushes off. I hope you guys like the video. Um, if you guys have any other requests or if you would want to request the specific faction next, just let me know and I'll do my best to do that. But yeah, until the next one, I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, happy Thanksgiving for all you Americans out there as well. I know this will be uploaded a couple days after, but... Who cares? See ya.